UFC main event ready to go. Steiner in the long black shorts, red gloves, mockish belly, and the white and blue gloves. With this the black tighties, tighty shorts. Black tight shorts, and this fight's got fireworks all over it. There's your difference there, so you can tell the difference. Jordan Steiner's last two opponents had a combined record of 14 and 0. And if he's able to pull off the win here tonight against Makashvili, that'll be three wins in a row against opponents that were a combined 20 and 0 before he fought him. Makashvili feeling out with that little left. And Steiner, both of them, just trying to check the distance and see what they got. Makashvili, heavy-handed. He's a knockout artist. Steiner knows this. He's got to be very careful. His little feeling out process. Makashvili leans in with a big right, blocked by Steiner. Steiner follows with a big right. Now Steiner pushing Makashvili against the cage. Makashvili spins. That's kind of what Steiner wants to do, is use his grappling and wrestling to close the distance. He's got a wizard on the left side. And it looks like double underhooks, actually. Both guys weighed in, 145 pounds. Both guys pretty big for featherweights. Big D by Steiner, double unders, just using his weight there, pushing Makashvili up against the cage. Big Dan sees him up, he's going to separate him, bring him back to the center, not enough action. Here we go. Two That's big right. shots, nice combination by Makashvili. Oh, nice right hand that landed by Steiner, Matt. Big return by Steiner. Nice answer to Makashvili's combo. Steiner stalking forward. Caught a possible finger in the eye. Consummate professional. Ready to go, moving forward. Steiner leads with a jab. And back to feeling out. Inside leg kick by the Hornet and followed by an outside kick. 2.15 to go in round number one. Nice flurry as Steiner charges forward, Matt. He's got Makashvili pressed up against the cage. Got a body lock on him, using his pressure here. Levon reverses the position. We are in a pummel here between these two professionals. Nice knees going up by Jordy Steiner, showing the versatility of his skill set. We got strikes coming in. Steiner looks to pummel. Makashvili answers with a nice combination. Yes, he did. Very well done there by Makashvili, but Steiner handled it well. That was a good answer. As soon as he uh, put the, the hand in there for the pummel, Makashvili Dropped back and threw a nice combos. Makashvili, the 25-year-old. Steiner, 28. Nice counter to the leg kick by Makashvili with a straight right hand. Big right by Steiner. Steiner's got to be careful here. Makashvili, the knockout artist. He's heavy-handed. He's looking for it. Steiner's got to keep his hands up. There he goes, as if he heard me. Forty seconds to go in the first. Marcus Velli's got his hands at his hips. He's uh, not too concerned about the power of Jordan Steiner. Yeah, Marcus Velli, you can see a little bit more seasoned in the striking department. Take nothing away from Jordan Steiner. Nothing at all. He's well, doing damage himself. But Marcus Velli just looks a little bit, a little bit more comfortable. I would say a little. More comfortable and a little crisp with his striking. Round one coming 
to a close. Big exchange. That's it. End of round one. Late touch gloves. Marcus Belli comes out, focused, confident. Steiner hands up, ready. Steiner's got to watch out for that left hook of Makashvili. Leading with that jab is Steiner. Nice right hand. hand. Boom! There it is. Shvili, two big right hands. Hand. Drop Steiner. You're laying it on him. That's the Short danger for the face. That is the danger up. by Makashvili. Jordan. Steiner hurt Makashvili. He got a little too aggressive. Here's uh, Makashvili all over Steiner. Ran it down Makashvili responded with a couple big shots that dropped Jordan Steiner. Makashvili is very dangerous stand-up striker. Makashvili's got good top pressure, throwing good pitter pat shots. Really annoying shot to Jordan Steiner's face. You can see Marcus Feli's got good wrestling skills, really got good top pressure, not giving Jordan Steiner an inch to do anything. Front headlock by Marcus Feli. Body shots. And Steiner might be using this position to recover a little bit. That's a good call, very possible. But you saw the striking ability of the Hornet. Steiner hurt him, but Makashvili countered well and dropped Jordan Steiner. He's a dangerous fighter, is LeVon Makashvili. Makashvili's got that top pressure down. He's using those shots from both sides, left and right. Kind of looking at Dan for a stoppage, but it's no way near a stoppage. Not at all. I think Steiner's trying to buy some time here. He'll get out. Steiner will get out from this position. I think he's using this to rest a little bit. He'll get back to his feet. Halfway through round number two. We are at the midway point of this fight. Makashvili is laying the pressure down on Jordan Steiner. Not letting him get up. Throwing uppercut shots from the top position. And he's got the arm coming under for a possible choke. He releases that, now he's just working the body. Body face, face face body. Nice nice work by the Hornet. There's Steiner trying to work his way back to his feet. Mox Kelly spins around. He's pouring on the pressure here. Steiner back to his feet. Marcus Kelly just laying it out on Steiner. Steiner. Doing a good job of keeping his composure. Gets back to his feet. Now they're toe to toe. With a minute and a half to go in round number two. The Horner's got Steiner on the run here. Looks like uh, Marcus Feli is putting Steiner, questioning his skill set here. Oh, Steiner comes back and answers. Nice right. Watch out for the left hook by Marcus Feli. Marcus Belli's got to keep it too calm. They're both a little uh, a little crazy right now. A wild Winging shot. shots. Steiner slips, but pops right back to his feet. All respect to Steiner, keeping his hands up, looking good, and then at that point he drops him. Got to keep your hands up. One minute, round number two. Battle of the unbeatens. Both fighters undefeated at 6 and 0. Marcus Belli trying to bait. Jordan Steiner. A lot of mutual respect going on here. These two fighters know at any point Steiner could pull out a submission. Makashvili could throw a big shot. There's the right left hooks by Makashvili. Makashvili loves the counter and he hurt Jordan Steiner there. Jordan Steiner did smart. It got out of there, Matt. Makashvili's got Steiner on the run again. Really nice. It's almost like Makashvili likes that Jordan Steiner puts the pressure on because he likes the counter punch. There it is again, a counter punching. 
Jordan looking for a takedown, looking to duck under there, change this up a little bit. Hey, Marcus Trelli using his pressure, stuffing everything that Steiner is offering to him. Oh, Marcus. In my opinion, both guys have a very bright future in this sport. They're showing a lot of heart, tremendous will to win. Hello. I'm going to see if we can listen in to Rich Lotta giving his fighter instructions from outside the cage. Let's see what Lotta's got here. A little bit of inspiration here. Steiner combination into a shot. But the Hornet defends well. Hornet using his, uh, the Hornet using his pressure here. Got Steiner up against the cage. Double underhooks. But over under by Mark Spelling. Steiner delivering some short knees to the midsection of Makashvili. Nice knee back from the Hornet. That was right in front of us, Matt. We heard that solid knee to the midsection of Jordan Steiner. There's Makashvili smiling right ass. Two big shots by Makashvili. Lead left hook by Marcus Shelley. Big overhand right. And for some reason, Matt, I have a feeling that Marcus Shelley might land one of those clean shots. There's Steiner on the uh, offensive, pushing Marcus Shelley up against the cage. Nice knee again. Marcus Shelley answers with that nice knee is right. Jordan Steiner is tough, he is scrappy, and he is determined. He's got a little under three minutes to make it happen. Let's see what Steiner can put together. Neither guy wants to pick up their first loss tonight, especially here at the main event at the Valley Forge Casino Resort, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Main event, CFFC 32, right here, right now. Marcus Belli's playing it smart, Ooh. picking his shots from the outside of Steiner. Again, with a nice combination. Yeah, by the point. Belli's showing a lot of balance. Left, left, right, left, right combo. Big high kick by Steiner. Another one checked and blocked. Another left hook by Marcus Belli. Minutes to go in round number three. Two minutes to go in the fight. Marcus Belli circling on the outside. Steiner loaded up the right hand there. Back into the clinch. And time is ticking down. Uh, Steiner's going to do something. He's got to make something happen now. To try to swing him off the cage. Some short shots. Do something here. Steiner, I'd like to see Makashvili get some separation here, maybe, Matt. And load up on those punches. There you go. Let's see some of his power. Overhand right that landed. Back the way, like you said, into a nice right. Walking into the last minute here from Steiner. Makashvili looking for the knockout. It's Steiner really pushing the pace. Okay, the winning shot's not a lot landed right there. Steiner switching to southpaw, and this is very interesting, Matt. Steiner knows, I think he knows he's down the scorecards, and he's pushing this fight right now. He is pushing this fight to win. He knows he's behind, and he's trying to push to win this fight by knockout. That shows a lot of heart and a lot of determination. A lot of fighters would just settle in and cruise to a decision, but Steiner's pushing the pace. Max Kelly opened up a big cut under Steiner's eye, under the right eye, it's dripping blood all down him. 18 seconds left, not going to be a factor in the fight. 
Jordan Steiner showing a lot of good signs here tonight. Maybe he loses this fight, but showing a lot of good signs. I like this. I like this a lot. And that's the end of the fight. Great fight. Really great fight. Great fight. Two warriors to the end. They both really, really laid it all out. I was there. saying that Steiner, I think, knew he was down, but that last minute, he was pushing to win. He knew he needed a knockout or a finish. And not a lot of fighters would go about their business that way. A lot of guys cruised that decision. He went for it. He really, really went for it. Perfect main event fight. Two fighters really, really came to do it. Good job. So we just saw fantastic barrage of punches by Makashvili laying on to Jordan Steiner, giving a cut towards the end of the fight. Steiner coming back, defending, doing all he can to try to get the W. Just seemed like the Hornet with his heavy punches, just a little too much for the grappler wrestler. All right, let's take the final decision to the cage with Dr. Dave the Chiropractor. Your winner by unanimous decision out of the